Get away from depressing people. They will affect you. They are toxic people. That's true. <laughs> yes. It's healthy to be around happy people. Amen. A happy heart is a good medicine, the Bible says. Amen. A happy heart is a good medicine. That's why, you know, we're all happy here. We're all healthy. Amen. Here in chief, walang dal moment dito. Amen. Amen. Offering lang, may sumasayo pa. Ang panda talaga namang hello. Hawaiian. The clothes, Hawaiian trees. Hawaiian trees. So every person who comes here, they're happy. Amen. Because there is no dull moment in this church. Amen. Amen. There's no dull moment. Praise God. Everybody is happy. You can see their champion smile. <laughs> Pastor Henry, if you see Pastor Henry, praise God. Hindi pwedeng hindi ka mag-smile. Champion smile. Makes you happy and healthy. Successful. Amen. Amen. It attracts success in our lives. A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Malungkot lagi. Dries up the bones. It affects your being, your body. It's good to be happy. Amen. Amen. It's good to be happy. That's why we have praise and worship here in our church. Why? It makes you happy. You sing and dance for the Lord. You're happy. When you go out, you, you feel healthy and strong. Amen. Mga conservative church. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. When they come out of the church, they're too bored. <laughs> so the reason why the kids don't want to come to the church. Why? Because this, you know, how the church are, you know, doing. But you come to born again Christian church, praise God, anywhere. They're dancing and singing, jumping, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Where in the world did you see a dance with one step only? <laughs> yeah. The born again church. Yeah, it's very easy. Just one step, please. <laughs> right? I thought two steps. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dance is that? Yeah. You're famous, praise God. <laughs> I mean to say, it's easy to be happy in a born-again Christian church. Yeah. Right? People are filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with joy, happiness. That's why we're all healthy. Amen. We're happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. It's very, very important. So whatever you want to happen in your life, write it. Amen. Get a picture, put it on your notebook, look at it every day, and claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, thank you for my car, thank you for my house, thank you for my, for my car, thank you for my house. Thank you for my money, thank you for my promotion, thank you for my baby, praise God. Amen. Thank you for my husband. Amen. Put it there. Kahit walang mukha muna, praise God, di pa kinala eh. Is the man with tuxedo out there? Kasi ang tinuha rin, talaga namimili ka. Kaya, Kuya Bibaw will see you. Namimili ka ito. Sobrang saya. Bigyan mo na nanay mo, may ang mag-isawa na, tagal na eh. Ten years ka na, di ba? Let him get, let her get married. Kinakontra mo kasi. <laughs> hey Amen. May mga Amerikano pang matatanda. <laughs> Pagbibili ka pa. Well, this old Americans, they like Philippines. Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> 
Write down the revelation and make it plain, make it clear. The Bible says, make it clear on paper. Make it plain, make it clear. So that an angel of God may run with it, so that the angel of God may see it. This is what it means. Because the revelation of which an appointed time, there is an appointed time. God sees it already. God sent His angel to fulfill it in your life. To fulfill it in your life. God will send the angel to fulfill it in your life. The house that you want, God will send an angel to fulfill it. Amen. In your life. Whatever you need. Love in the farm, sabi nga sa inyo, if you want, praise God. God will provide the money, don't be afraid. Be afraid. God will provide the money to pay the lot in the farm and you can build your house out there. Amen. It's all free from heaven. God will provide Amen. everything you need. Don't be afraid. Have a strong faith. Put action on your faith. Believe and receive and then thank God all the time. Amen. Thank God all the time. It's very simple. Thank God all the time. Amen. And it will come. It will come. It will Amen. Come. Amen? Amen. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. It will not prove false. Meaning to say, it will come to pass. Amen. It will happen. But some of you are, are not putting it into practice. You're not putting it into practice. This is the reason why. Sometimes you blame God. Don't blame God. You blame yourself. God has given us all the principles we need to do to prosper in this life. To prosper in this life, God has given us all the principles of the kingdom of God. God is a miraculous God. Amen. Whatever you think impossible is possible with God. Amen. Whatever you think impossible is possible with God. The, the problem is you're not believing God. Or you're not believing that God will do it for you. You believe that God can do it, but you're not believing that God can do it for you. That's another problem. Why can't you believe God that He will do it for you? You don't believe the Word of God. Let's go to John chapter 14, verse 14. Come on. John chapter 14. The Bible says, You stick your eyes on the Word. John chapter 14, we'll start reading on verse 12, 13, and 14. Verse 12, 13, and 14. Jesus Himself said, I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in Me will do what I have been doing. You see that? You can do the miracles Jesus did if you have faith in Him. Jesus performed miracles. We can also perform miracles in our lives. The problem is you don't believe that you can perform miracles in your life. But it's very clear. You look at the screen. I tell you the truth, meaning to say truly, truly, it's really true. It's true. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. You can do what Jesus did. He will do even greater things than this. Even greater things. Because I'm going to the Father. Verse 13. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. Whatever means anything. Whatever means anything. If you have a very close relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ, you don't even have to scream and shout, you know. You say, Lord, I want this and that. And I'm expecting you to do this. Thank you, Lord. You said in your word, but so ever shall I ask you in your name, you'll do it for me. Amen. Tomorrow, you remind the Lord, Lord, you know what I mean. You know what I ask you. I'm waiting, Lord, I'm waiting. Amen. Next week, next month, still not coming, still always remind, Lord, you know what my prayer is. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting, and I'm believing that I receive it already. Amen. It builds your faith, heaven, a close relationship, no, with God. It's like Arabic me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Kaya. Diba ko, diba? Samating yan dito. Akala mo. Pero ngayon, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pwede ka na mag-isawa. It's like we talk, okay? We are being. Okay. This is what I need. Then I go. Example is my boss. Sir. Sir. Smagot ka. Time pass by. Praise God. Praise God. Sir. You remember this? You said yes. Again, praise God. Sir, I don't forget your word. I believe your word. You're a very respectable man, and you're capable. You remember this. When will you do this? Tomorrow. Yes. You know what's up to answer? Thank you, baby. You got what I mean. You approach Jesus like this, like he's your best friend. Like he's your best friend. Come to Jesus. And tell him, Lord, may I remind you, Lord, this is my prayer. I'm waiting, Lord, I'm waiting. I believe that you can do this. And you have the power to do this. And I'm a child of God. And you said in your word, whatsoever shall I ask you in your name, you will do it for me, Lord. I'm just reminding you. And I thank you and I praise you, Lord. That's very powerful. Instead of, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> What's the next verse there? Ang pangit mo. But some of you are doing that. But Jesus, 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 can I Jesus? You remind him, hindi naman bigyang Lord. He's not deaf. Hello? He's not deaf. And the Bible says, even before you pray, He knows what you will tell Him. Amen. So tell Him, praise God, Lord, you promise in your word. This is my request. I'm waiting, Lord. I'm waiting. That's a very powerful prayer. This is what I do to the Lord. Lord, I'm waiting. I know you're working. I know your angels are working. So, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I praise you and I trust in you. So don't cry and roll on the ground. Praise God. Para kang bata. Like a child. Be mature. Okay, tell your neighbor, be mature. Be mature. Be mature. Be mature. Lord, this is the car that I want. You know, my car is always broken, very old. Now, Lord, I want you to replace my car with a new one. And this is a picture, Lord. Oh, look, Lord, oh, this is a picture. This is what I want, Lord. This is what I want. Ask the Lord for that. Hmm? He will do it for you. Whatever you need, Jesus says, it is giving glory to God when your prayers are answered. Amen. Did you know that? Amen. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, verse 13, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Amen. When your prayers are answered, it glorifies the Father. Amen. Hindi nabawasan ang yaman ng Diyos. At wala kang utang na loob sa Diyos. That's His, His pleasure. To bless His children. That's His pleasure. Uy, baka naman sobrang laki hinihingi ko. No, no, no. You ask for whatever is your need. Give it to Jesus. Praise God. But Jesus will answer it. And the prayers answered by heaven glorifies God. Natutuwa ang Diyos na ikaw ay natuwa. God is happy that you become happy. 
Oh, who are parents here? Who are parents? We're, we're about to close. Okay, you give toy to your son or daughter or, or anything during their birthday, right? Amen. Hindi ba bibigay ng gift? Bibigay. Okay, give gift to your child, okay? And then your child says, Thank you, Mama! Thank you, Mama! Thank you, Mama! You're so good! You're so good, Mama! Mama! You are so great! How do you feel? Happy or sad? Happy. Happy or sad? Happy. Happy. The father is happy Amen. when you receive your prayer request. Amen. He is not happy when you pray and you forgot your prayers. You don't receive the blessing. He's not happy. Why? God says, look at this son of mine. This is my daughter. She's asking for this. The angels are working. They're on the way. Then she stopped believing. So, she cannot receive the blessing. God is not happy if you don't receive your blessing. And God is happy if you receive your blessing and you become happy. Because we are happy to see our children happy. Amen. Is that right, Good John? When you see your children happy, you are happy, right? And this is what Jesus is saying. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you said in your word, whatever I ask you in your name. Therefore, Lord, in your name, I am asking you to do this and that and this and that, whatever you, you want. so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Jesus and you will bring glory and happiness to the heart of your Heavenly Father. Amen. If you got blessed, if you got your promotion, if you got your salary increases, if you receive your car, you build your house, God wants that. But you need to believe Extend your faith. Wait. Learn to wait. Extend your faith until you receive what you're asking. It will come to pass why the angels and the Holy Spirit are working together to answer your prayers. Did we learn something today? Amen. Amen. I want to give him praise. <laughs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for your people, O oh God. Help them, Lord, to extend their faith so that they may be able to receive what they're asking from you, O oh God. Teach them, Lord, by your Holy Spirit to use their patience so that they may be able to wait and keep waiting until the answer comes. Lord, thank you so much for the lesson today from the Bible. From your word, help them, Lord, to remember everything they hear tonight. Bless your people indeed, O oh God. Bless all of them indeed. I release the blessings of Abraham upon all of you. The promise of the Holy Spirit be upon all of you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say, Amen. 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 Give him praise.